This is how you can customize your console using your discord.js version 14 bot or really any javascript project so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this I'd like to quickly mention that you can purchase a bot package from the server shop in my discord server. If you're interested in purchasing one of these packages or a package that will be added in the future go ahead and click the links in the description below and you can go ahead and view the features list within the actual package here. If you'd like to get the source code from this video or other videos on my channel you can do so by joining a channel membership on youtube or a subscription over on discord all of that will be in the description below as well so with that let's just go ahead and get right into the code all right so the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is install the cow package using npm the link to do this will be in the description below uh, just go ahead and do npm i cow or whatever command you're going to use for this once you've done this we can go over into our code and we're going to go over to the events and then we can go over to our ready.js so in here, I took out the console.log ready, but we can just put that back in for now. So now that we have our console.log ready back in here, uh, we're just going to go in and take it out again. So basically, I'm going to be using this to replace the ready function, uh, but you can use this however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing console.log. Then in here, we're going to do cowsay.say, and we can open this up. We're going to get our text, which we can set to I'm started and ready. So like it's going to replace our ready function, so we can do I'm started and ready. And actually, right here has all of the information we need to know on this. So we have the eyes and the tongue we can set for the face. Um, and then we have the cow, so you can go ahead and get the F for the cow name. And then you have modes, so these are some modes ready to use faces basically. Uh, and you can set that if you would like. Uh, the example is also here. So if you're curious or you don't know what to actually do for this, you can actually just go ahead and scroll through here. But we're going to be going ahead and just setting a basic cow to start off. So we're going to do comma and then we can do E. And I'm just going to go ahead and do O and then capital O. And then we can do T and we can do a U with a space. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and turn the bot on and test that out. And then I'm going to be showing you how you can actually customize this uh, for anything you'd like to add. So we can actually go ahead and run our terminal here. And we can do node space dot. And I have a little bit different of a handler. So it's going to load all my command files. And then as you can see, it's going to say I'm started and ready, which it says right here. So it's going to say I'm started and ready. And then it's going to go ahead and put in that cow face with the OO and the U as the tongue. So that is the generic cow. That's basically the base of this package but now we can actually go ahead and take a look at some other things so let's just go ahead and go over to our node modules and let's just go ahead and search for cow so we're going to go down to the cow say package and we can go ahead and open up the cows folder here so in here there's a ton of different cows that you can actually use for this now they're not all cows obviously there's a dragon there's a cube there's a bunch of different cool designs there's a goat there's another goat um, there's a bunch of different cool things in here um, you could technically make your own if you follow this format, but that's up to you. Uh, so you can just go ahead and scroll down through here and find one that you want to use. So maybe I want to try the elephant one or this elephant one. So let's just go back into here and we can actually remove this. So let's say I want to use elephant. So we can do F and we can do elephant. And so after we do that, we can save the file and turn this on again. And now, as you can see here, we have the elephant design instead of the cow. And we could also do elephant two. We could do a bunch of different things. Like I said, all you would have to do is search in the node modules you would search for cow say and then you can open up the cows and you can just scroll down through here until you find one that you would like uh, I guess we could try one more this time we'll do cheese and then we can save that and turn it on and now we have the cheese design here so all you have to do is scroll through here and find the cow or the design uh, that you would like to use and then you can just put it in as the F and then you have your console.log custom console thing that you could use in any implication. Now the other thing is this is not just for consoles. You could technically also send this as a message. So you could do like interaction.reply and then you could use the cow say. You could even make this a variable if you would like. But it works best in the console and that's really what it's designed for. So that's going to be the implication we're using for this tutorial. So as you can use the custom console package in your discord.js version 14 bot or really any project. If you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use the help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that I'll see you guys in the next video.